This is graphene. It's one of the strongest material in the world. Its chemical structure is a bit like the one of chicken wire, but one billion times smaller than chicken wire. Being so strong, it's also very thin. It's one atom thin and very flexible. Because of these properties, 10 years ago, Europe decided to invest in a project called the Graphene Flagship, where industries and academia work together to transform this material into real application. And today, after 10 years' work, we are going to see some examples of this application. One of the most important sectors where you can apply it is automotive. And here we see a prototype of a Dallara car, where graphene has been used in lots of different parts. As example, you can add it to the carbon fiber composites of the car to make mechanically better, more resistant to impact. But you can also add it to the interior of the car, to the seats, as example, to make it safer, more resistant to flame and fire. By adding tiny amounts of graphene in different parts of the cars, you can also reduce the amount of noise and vibration of the car, making it more comfortable. But it's not just automotive. In these 10 years, we are using this technology to make different kinds of prototypes. And here you see just some examples of them. To make new kinds of cameras, water filters, biological sensors to detect diseases, heaters to improve or purify our uh, air from viruses. There is really no limit to what this technology can do. Another sector very important for Europe and for all of us is aeronautics. Also here, graphene researchers have collaborated with key companies like Airbus and other companies to add graphene to the airplane. By adding graphene to the fuselage of the airplane, you can again improve its mechanical properties, making it more resistant, as example, to the impact of birds, which is a serious issue for airplanes. But besides just improving the mechanical properties, you can even add new functionalities to materials. One key problem in airplanes, besides birds, is also the formation of ice. If ice forms on the flight uh, wing of the airplane, the airplane can crash. So it's very important to avoid the formation of ice on the wing. Also here, by adding tiny amounts of graphene to the wing, we could heat it, make it electrically conductive, avoiding in this way the formation of ice. And scientists and industries together have played a lot, creating these kinds of prototypes that then when were tested in a wind tunnel, and it works. So we can really avoid the formation of ice, making airplanes safer and better. It's not just automotive, it's not just airplanes, but you can really use graphene in lots of different applications. As example, to replace metals in lots of places. Here we move from the sky going underground. This is a piece of a huge pipe that are usually po positioned underground. And this usually need to be done in metal, but metal is expensive, can be corroded. They can also be done in plastic, but they need to be conductive and also resistant. That, that's where graphene comes into play. This is a material made a com by a company of the flagship called Avanzare, where graphene has been added to a polymer to make it more resistant and electrically conductive. In this way, we can use this kind of material instead of metal for these kinds of pipes. From going from very small devices to large scale application, car, pipe network of airplanes, graphene can really be used in lots of different fields. And here in the flagship, we have produced demonstration that this technology can truly work with the industries in Europe and in the world. Thank you.